In this tutorial we learn some of the basic OpenDetect manipulations. A basic principle in OpenDetect is that you only load or calculate what is needed. In this scene we see several elements like an inline, a horizon, a text element and two 3D objects visualized with volume rendering in two volume viewers. The position, size and content of each element is controlled in the tree. Use the toggle buttons in the tree to switch elements in the scene on and off. Let us add a cross line to the scene. Right click on cross line in the tree and add the element. Choose select attribute and select what you want to display. You can choose between data stored on disk and attributes that will be calculated on the fly. The attribute option lists all attributes that are currently defined in the attribute set. If the attribute option is grayed out it means that there are no attributes defined. In that case, go to the attribute set window and define the attributes you want first. Let us select the energy attribute in this cross line element. We will now look at two basic modes for manipulating the graphic scene, view mode and interact mode. View mode is for rotating, zooming and moving the scene. Interact mode is for resizing and repositioning elements. Let us first look at view mode and the default settings for a free button wheel mouse. To rotate the scene, position the cursor and use left click and drag. To zoom in and out, rotate the mouse wheel. To move the scene laterally, click on the wheel and drag. If you don't like these settings, select one of the other supported mouse controls under the utilities settings menu. We now switch to interact mode. This can be done by either clicking on the arrow icon or by pressing the escape button on the keyboard. Note that the cursor in interact mode changed to an arrow. Let's display the already loaded inline element at position 7093 by toggling this element on in the tree. In interact mode the active element is marked by green anchors on the corners and sides. To move the element to another inline position use left mouse click and drag. To resize Use left mouse, click and drag on the green anchors. Finally, but not shown here, to move the element laterally in the inline direction, use shift left mouse, click and drag. Left mouse click outside the element will reload the content at the new position. Moving elements to a new position can be done in two other ways. Use the position field to type in the inline number or use the arrows to jump to a new position and steps away. More controlled positioning is available under the position menu that is popped up by right clicking on the tree element. Here you can resize the element and position it accurately. The scroll button allows you to either manually or automatically scroll through the data. Note that at each new position the data is retrieved from disk or needs to be calculated on the fly. For faster scrolling you should use the volume viewer. In this viewer all data inside the 3D volume is available in memory. Switch on the inline, crossline and time slice elements and switch off the volume rendering. Switch to view mode to prepare the scene for scrolling. Switch back to interact mode and now you can move the elements by left mouse click and drag. The display is updated instantly allowing movie style inspection of the data. This is even better demonstrated by switching to another color bar that is not partly transparent as was needed for displaying the 3D salt body in volume rendering mode. This concludes this tutorial about basic interaction.